it is. Let's have a look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mysterious Norby. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see. Let's see from Johnny Mercer's point of view. It's not exciting. You'll just go, oh, is that it? <laughs> but I can't say it just yet. I'm sad to rise in no full a Scorpio, Sun, Leo, Moon, <laughs> or Water and Fire. The hubby of Greece is a Scorpio. Let's have a look. What really happened between Harry and Johnny Mercer? Show us. The Nine of Pentacles. He's on the outside now. He's very much on the outside, if you know what I mean. And he's basically saying he has to keep himself in a style that he is accustomed to. So that's the first instance. You can see that Harry is setting himself aside. The Nine of Pentacles is this very wealthy woman who is standing in a garden. She's all she's all fantastic and and she's got a kind of like a kestrel on her wrist or a hunting bird, if you will, on her wrist. And it's meant to be very regal and it's there's a lots of yellows, a very hopeful thing in tarot when the cards have lots of yellows on them. But she's also very alone and outside. Now, if you look at Tarot, uh, the Ten of Pentacles would be the rich, wealthy, protected family. But the Nine of Pentacles, it's somebody who seems to be rich and wealthy, but they don't stay, even though they're in a garden and they have this hunting bird on their arm, they are also alone. So maybe he's giving it a bit of that, but we'll see what's crossing over. King of Swords, politician. Uh, Richard the Third, Dicky the Three. Huh. Ace of Cups in reverse and Four of Wands in reverse. There's an issue. Harry has said something to Johnny Mercer involving his foundations, involving his safety, his home life, his control of his home life. The Four of Wands, when it is upright, it's all very celebratory. People are getting married. People are happy. Things are going great. Things are stable. But when it's in reverse, things aren't going so well. I feel like he has been told, he's telling Johnny Mercer that Harry had. Harry is telling Johnny Mercer that Harry has been lied, lied about by the state, by the Home Office. He is trying to get a politician on side to try and influence not only in Griftus, but I also feel like there's questions around the information that Harry has shared with him. I know that it was, was in the Telegraph yesterday, but I feel there's more than that. I feel like he's trying to get him on side for the, for a long-term survival thing. The thing with Harry is he goes, oh, a veterans, the veterans minister. Well, there's a lot of veterans in the UK. Mm. 
there's a hell of a lot of veterans in the UK. And he's probably going to be very busy without listening to this one who got sent to Afghanistan to sit and play in a tent on an Xbox for months. Mule on about how badly he's done to. Queen of Cups. Four of Pent. <laughs> what? Four of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. The Hierophant. Yeah, here we go. This is this is this this is what he wanted from him. King of Pentacles in reverse. And death in reverse. Mr. Mercer is about to get a markled. The Queen of Cups. I think he's made quite a thing to Mr. Mercer and anyone who will listen is that the establish the establishment in his eyes are doing the same thing to him that allegedly they did to his mother. The thing with Diana, Diana didn't want the security she had because she was really paranoid. Thanks to Martin Bashir and a few people that were around her. So he's taken that and he's using it to punish other people. He is using his mother's memory to attack and to punish people. The Seven of Swords there, again, it's come out again today. I'm not being funny, but this guy is an absolute liability at the moment absolute liability he can do say whatever to anyone he is out and feral and it's his right to be out and feral but because he's rubbed shoulders with what most normal people would say were the elite of society and the powerful of society he is being watched like a hawk now seven of seven of um swords there The Hierophant, traditions and learning and understanding. But when we're reading on the royals, the Hierophant can also mean traditional structures like the monarchy, the church, universities. Harry didn't go to university. I don't think Harry goes to church. Damn right, it's the monarchy. It could be government as well. That could be probably more the emperor. But we're looking at... Um, yeah. He's trying to deceive and be deceptive. He's trying to, he is using politicians and he is using people of influence to, he kind of like trying to network, you know, like with um, the Lion King. He doesn't see the boundaries. I don't think he understands politics. Of what politicians do, I don't. I think it was he was just completely. He, it's just not something he was ever interested in until Megs. He went. I want to be a president of America, and that's um, yeah. That was the last card. The King of Pentacles, what he wants to do, he wants to turn his reputation around. He wants to come into the Kaching. He wants some money back. He really does. He really wants some money back. He really wants all of this to go away. If only he'd get his IPP status and if only he could get somebody, to, his host country, whoever that is, to pay for his security. He's gone too far. Mercer is about to get Markles. Mercer is going to find himself in deep doo-doo. 
something's going to come out with this. The Four of Pentacles, there's going to be an element of trying to control the situation and tighten things up around this story. And that could be from Mercer and Harry. But let's see how, Mer how um, Harry's feeling about it today. And then I will leave you lovely people alone for another night. Mercer is already in deep 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 where he's about to get even worse. He's about to, yeah, he's in he's in some serious, it's worse now. It's going to get worse. Oh, there we go, the Nine of Coins in reverse. We started off this reading with the Nine of Coins upright. We have the, the Nine of Pentacles upright. We now have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So he's, Harry's feeling very sorry for himself, very, very dejected, very attacked. Um, or fur coat, no knickers. He's he he is wondering how he's going to afford the security. I feel like there's some stuff bedded in with that as well. The chariot in reverse. Hmm. How's this William's fault? Yeah, there's the five coins in reverse as well, and there's judgment in reverse. So far, Putin only Putin's had about the same reversals on the opening opening few cards he is feeling very sorry for himself he's feeling very dejected um the judgment card in reverse um i'm thinking he's failing to recognize what he has done is wrong I think somebody better get a box of crayons and draw it out and explain it very, very slowly for him. He doesn't seem to quite understand what he's done and how wrong it is and how encroaching it is to try and share details of a high court legal battle with somebody who has influence on the public square, a uh, uh, voting influence on the public square and life in the UK. Two of Swords. He's going to... I only did this because my firstborn Build-A-Bear doll, whatever it's called, Little and Archie. I'm like, what do you call them again? It's not... Um, uh, newborn dolls. My first, my first reborn doll. Need security. We're going to hear about this a lot. Justice. What I'm not feeling and what I'm not getting is an apology to Mr. Mercer, Johnny Mercer. We have the justice card here. He's going to go. He's going to try and get to the court of appeal. You know, he is going to try and get to the court of appeal. <laughs> What's around him? Unhappy families. Really unhappy family. I think Megzi is just like, I think Megzi naturally thought, oh, he's rich and he's a prince. I didn't think she was expecting to him to be like, you know, have no brain activities. So little brain activity. If the NHS hooked him up to a monitor, they try and switch off life support. The dude's brain dead. <laughs> this kid is nuts. Uh, we are going to get um, they we are going to get they are going to try and come heavily handed around this we are going to get some 
we are going to get some serious propaganda around Archie and Lily books. Recollections may vary how they got here, why they are here, if even two of them do exist, whatever. We are going to get a lot of propaganda about the kids. You know? Let me just have a look. I am going to do one more read. Um, let us have a look really quickly. I'm going to use one, not, uh, not one more read, just finish this read off, I should say. We are going to have a look. Is there a flood in Montecito? I shall be up all night crying. It will keep me awake. I'm very sorry to anybody who lives in Monte Shit Show who isn't the Harkles, but my goodness me. I hope those chickens have armbands or wing bands even. Let's have a look at, let's just have one more card. How does Johnny Mercer feel about this? And then we'll ask how Megsy feels about this. Oh, wow. He wants enough. He wants to wash his hands of the whole thing. He wants to walk away from it all. He thinks he's been sucked in by a narcissist. I'm telling you, man, Harry's a narcissist. He, what I don't know what you call what HG Tudor calls it. Is it a vulnerable narcissist? Basically, that's Harry. In my opinion, I know not everyone will agree with you. No, it's narcissist the plant, but. All, it's all based on plants. It's walk away. Let's see how, how, how Megan feels about this. Walk away. The only thing you can do with a narcissist, though, is no contact ever again. That's the only way. The only way you can deal with them. But if you have got somebody in your family who you who you still love, just I think it's difficult, but you have to accept they're a narcissist. And you've got to accept they are never going to, they just haven't got the capacity to love you the way they want you You want to be loved or they haven't got the capacity to hear you the way you want to be heard. So it, it, it's, I, I get it, it's difficult. Easier to said than no contact ever again and walk away. But if it's somebody you only know shallowly or somebody you went for a few drinks with, then you realise they're a narcissist, it's just no contact. How does Megan feel about this? This one card for Megan, please. <laughs> Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see what it says? It says nutmeg. <laughs> Manifesting. So she's probably she's probably already on her vision board, um, trying to manifest a new man, a one that isn't. <laughs> That isn't um, so. Oh dear me! I'm telling you, I know I've got it as a tagline on my YouTube. The cards aren't so. 
the cards are sarcastic. It's not me. They are sarcastic sometimes. Ooh. I think she just wants to... Um, This is a tailor made deck tonight. It is, isn't it? Um, narcissist, narcissist, and walking away. Meg manifesting. Do you know how I say, right, that um, Megan and Harry hex themselves? They do. They just do it all the time because they're so bitter and they look at what everyone else has got. And rather than going, I should work and, and get that, they're just are like, well, we should be just like given that. <laughs> um they take they're entitled and they take every everything for granted you know you shouldn't take things for granted you really shouldn't um but i think she's she's manifesting her new life her life after harry her post harry life i th i think there will be a board being created by her somewhere probably hidden in the chicken chicken inn um Jeff Bezos, rich, but with hair. <laughs> and two straight eyes. And good looks. <laughs> Where is the avocado card? Oh, avocados are horrible. I don't know. I don't get all the... I don't get all the... Uh, are you nutmeg in chicken soup? I like nutmeg in... I've never had it in chicken soup. Are those strawberries on the card? They are, I think they are meant to be like nutmeg when it's kind of um what do you call it? Growing. It looks like strawberries, but I think it's just meant to be the like nutmeg thing, wherever they come from again. Avocados are so good. No, they're not. It's a it's a vegetable. It shouldn't taste like fish. Not mega egg custard. That's it. Or oh, egg custard tarts. Really, poached egg and ham. Yeah. I don't, I don't I don't get the whole avocado thing. <laughs> it tastes like fish. <laughs> it does. Avocados revolting. Thank you, Raven. Watch Moya be like, I love avocados. <laughs> oh damn. <sighs> <laughs> or a roast chicken we should have had a roast chicken card do not google that do not go on urban dictionary and look that up please don't i heard that <laughs> i know i <laughs> know Avocado for guacamole. I like guacamole though. I do like guacamole. I do like guacamole. You're too late. You've looked it up, love my rescue pup. The name of this deck is the Deadly Apocryphy Oracle. And it's reasonably priced actually. It's um I think it's probably about 15 quid on um Amazon. The other book sellers are available. Uh, poisonous plants as guides and healers. So I was like, um, oh, that sounds interesting. I have that. Nutmeg is very good for you. Yeah, I know. I do like nutmeg. Just not that one. <laughs> oh, it is a nice deck. It is a lovely deck. And it's got its own little spreads you can do and a little guidebook and stuff. But um, yeah. It is, it's a really nice deck. There's so only viewers gone down because everyone went to Urban Dictionary. That's pretty much how it goes. <laughs> I know, everybody's like... Kids try to get high on nutmeg. You can actually... You can. 
um, but it's more like the essential oil and it's very toxic. Um, I know this because I'm, I'm an aromatherapist by trade. One of my, uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, nutmeg oil is, um, it's quite toxic, nutmeg essential oil. But if you do use nutmeg essential oil in like blends for um, like more kind of spacey moods, it can give you a slightly, very slightly altered, altered effect, relaxing effect. But I wouldn't say it was... Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was the high that the kids are looking for to be honest. Not make consumed large quantities as essential oil, so it's genetic, yeah. Yeah. And if you if you're taking that much of an essential oil, what's it gonna do to your liver? There was this what's it gonna do to your liver and your kidneys and your you're gonna be dead. There was an essential oil. Clary Sage is a really good essential oil, but it's an amenagog, which means it's going to cause menstruation. So if you are pregnant, you don't want to be around Clary Sage. If you're trying to get pregnant, you don't want to be around Clary Sage. But if you do have painful periods, Clary Sage is a really good thing to use. Also used in, I love Clary Sage. It's my favorite essential oil, but I used, I used to walk around <laughs> Right. Miss, have you been on the Clary Sage again in college? And I'd be like, yes. <laughs> like the whole place always used to stink of Clary Sage when I taught aromatherapy. Used to yeah, anyway, anyway, moving on. Yeah, it's dangerous in pregnancy. Apparently, essential oils taste nicer than avocado. Anyway, I am going to go. You were growing clary sage this year. I'm currently your house, Moya. I feel like a cat in the garden. <laughs> There's a fat Geordie rolling around in my clary sage. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go. Yes, I will do. Is that her name, Victoria O'Brien? I thought, you know, <laughs> I will have a look for you. Um, thank you.